Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Friday, August 26, 2022. Number one, two months after the United States Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, the decision guaranteeing the constitutional right to an abortion, the effort to deny the procedure is gaining steam across the country. New trigger laws went into effect Thursday in three states. Abortion is illegal in the state of Oklahoma, with the sole exception of saving the life of the mother. In Tennessee, the law shifted to a near-complete ban of the procedure, the law makes an exception for cases related to preventing death or serious injury to a pregnant woman, but no exceptions for rape or incest. And Texas increased the punishments for those involved in the abortion. Doctors will be charged with first-degree felony. The penalty is up to life in prison and a civil penalty no less than $100,000. Number two, across the nation, students are preparing to return to school. Unfortunately, in Philadelphia, many students will not be seeing black male teachers, the percentage of which remains in the single digits. Data indicates that students of color who have at least a certain number of teachers that look like them perform better academically. The Philadelphia School District launched a pathway program called the Center for Black Educator Development. This program is an apprenticeship and professional development that will increase black male teacher representation and improve the academic performance of students of color. Number three, according to a study, Pfizer's COVID-19 pill appears to provide little or no benefit for younger adults, while still reducing the risk of hospitalization and death for high-risk seniors. The results from the study are likely to renew questions about the U.S. government's use of Paxlovid, which has become the go-to treatment for COVID-19 due to its at-home convenience. The Biden administration has spent more than $10 billion purchasing the drug and making it available at thousands of pharmacies throughout the test and treat initiative. Number four, protesters gathered at a Missouri school to ask district officials to reconsider a policy that prompted a high school principal to have gay pride flags removed from their classrooms. Two separate protests were held at Kickapoo High School in Springfield, Missouri, which has the first day of classes Monday. Protesters said they wanted the school board to reconsider the policy in order to help make LGBTQ plus students feel welcome and safe. Number five, for some, Shopping for shoes can be a pleasurable experience. For others, especially women with larger feet, hello, finding the perfect shoe can be frustrating. Florida entrepreneur Ariana Edwards was one of those frustrated shoppers until she decided to take matters into her own hands and become part of the solution. From this inconvenience, Valia Shoes was born. Read more about her journey in today's What You Need to Know newsletter. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Life is a series of choices. Choose to be kind rather than to be right. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, the American Heart Association and Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit civilwilkes.com.